Hi everybody, today I'm going to be doing my favorites a little bit late in the month. Usually I do them early in the month and i uh, just been very busy. So yeah, packages galore, boxes coming in. So let's get going. I have a bazillion favorites. So usually I start with makeup, bath products, perfume. Uh, I might throw some clothing in. It's not in here, so no, I won't throw any clothing in. I will do a separate clothing favorites, I think, this month because I have so many different pieces that I bought so let's get going so um, that's better with lighting so I put everything you can see it's behind me on the bed that little uh, camera goes away so yeah so first of all let's start with this box it's huge everything's pretty much new but I've tried it so let's get going through this stuff a favorite I can't list all this stuff either so I love these I've tried them they have an astringent side and they're 60% longer they used to be shorter these are the yes face when you get lazy at night you just want to wipe your face and put some face cream on I use them all the time these are pepper these are grapefruit um, and they're 60% more they used to be this long I love them one side's astringent and the other side is soft so yeah they smell fabulous and they don't look too bad on your vanity so there's those a favorite then I have this this is from my Mimi box um, after I'm done with one of those pads I take this out because my skin tends to burn and this really helps this is a one step cleansing water and I take it uh, the most natural function of si function science of cleansing water and I take it open it up and I spray it on one of those pads whoops I'll just show you real quick I have a pad that's um, kind of not in there right so I'll just pull it out real quick and wipe the desk with it or something so here it is after I've wiped my makeup off and stuff we'll just continue we'll pretend that the computer is a desk I take it like this because my face is sometimes burning I don't know why I think it's because of the astringent side See how it has a bumps, but it really works. So I take this um, water, this ISO B water, and I dump it on like this, and then I bat it over my eyes, and it gets rid of that burning. And then I put my face cream on. So yeah, I just put little drops of it on all over, and it's fabulous. I love it. it takes the sting away. Probably would with razor shaving. I thought I'd let my husband try it sometime. It's just like almost like scented saline water from the hospital. So there's another favorite. I'm gonna put them over here so I don't get them mixed up. Then I have the pink color recipe, the pink cream. Um, I didn't take them out of the boxes because they're in Korean. Otherwise, I wouldn't know what they were. I love this. This is a kind of a before foundation cream I use it all the time color recipe the pink cream secret key and you would you would think it'd be white um, or you know white cream but it is a pink gel and it's not sticky at all it has a light smell doesn't smell like alcohol or anything love it so there's that one um, since we're in face care, let me grab my Hello Kitty. Here is, I just threw these in there because um, they were in the bathroom. Whoops. My little Hello Kitty holder. Yeah. I might send this, send this out in one of my giveaways. I don't know who's crazy about Hello Kitty. I'm certainly not. I don't know where I got it. But anyway, here's another thing from my Mimi box. This is a carbonated bubble clay mask. It's fabulous you put it on your face it goes on black and then once you get your face wet it turns from black to white and it's almost like shaving cream it suds up and it washes your face ex excellently awesome has a little place to keep the scooper so this is what it looks like it's like charcoal it's really gooey yeah, so that it's black doesn't smell real bad um, that's what I was worried about. It was going to smell bad. And then the little spoon just snaps on like that so you don't lose it. So you don't have to reach your fingernails in there. I just use a spoon. 
I've used it several times um, and then hop in the shower and rinse it off. So like I said, the back of it, I just got rid of the box. So if you get rid of the packaging, the back of it is in Korean. So the front is, yeah, so it's cute packaging. So there's one of my masks. The other one from Lush is out in the refrigerator. Can't go get it. Oops, that fell on the floor. Then I put on my face, I put Pure Elise. This is a very light. I have several of these. These came in boxes. I love it. It's a real light light cream. I put it on in the mornings. And then at night, I put Vichy on. By Viactive Nuit. And that means night. It's a night cream because it's, it's thick. It's very thick and greasy. There it is. It came in my glossy box. Love it. There's some awesome spoilers this month in glossy box. I don't know if you guys want to know. I will tell you. I saw it on a website. One of them is a Tarte um, $23 lipstick in like four different colors pink of pink. It's beautiful. I've never tried it before. It's a, a unique lipstick. And then the other one is a 2.5 uh, ounce Vince Camuto perfume. Yeah, I was like, you've got to be kidding me. 2.5 ounce. That's huge. That's not just sample size. So here is another one. This is Illuminage Pons Institute Gentle Skin Prep Cleanser. It's another cleaner, face cleaner. I use that all the time. This will be gone soon. So I just throw it in this little box. Here is Janice, I did a video on this. This is a skin serum. You just pump it and it comes oops, comes out white like that. Rub it in. Very light. So those are the things that I put on my face. Pick that mask up in a second. That's a lot of stuff. It's a lot of steps to go through. I had my camera out. I was going to do this on my camera. But I got doing something else, and yeah. Okay, then I have a bunch of empties. Here is my Dove. I went through this. I think it took me almost a year. I love it. Now, this is not yellow. It's just yellow packaging. This is, you put a few drops on the ends of your hair. It's Nourishing Oil Care Anti-Frizz Serum. You can see as my hair gets longer I use a flat iron it gets a little bit fried on the ends so yeah you really need an argon oil um, if you use a flat iron especially see how empty it is I was going to use it in my empties so I just rub it on the ends if you put it up on your roots your hair will end up looking greasy and you'll have to wash it again so you always want to put it on your ends so this is called Dove Hair Therapy love it so I'll put that over here. I'm going to throw that away. Okay, and then here's another one. This is called Awesome Glow Glow Balm uh, for all skin types. This came in my pink, uh, pinkaholic box. Love it. This is not what you would expect. You'd think it would be white, but it is pink. It's like a balm, and I just you can see how it's kind of greasy. I rub it around in circles and put it on at night. Now, if you break out easy, probably not a good product for you. So there's that one. I'm trying to hurry. My hubby's dying of starvation. Okay, so then we have Dana's Cosmetics. This came in my Simply Devolicious uh, box. And it's mink oil. Mink oil. Now, I don't know if the animals have to die to get this oil. I would assume. That's why I'm having a little bit of problem using it. I just I love those little babies and yeah so if they do I'm gonna I need to look it up I've used it a few times it's great stuff but if I find out that they had to die in the process I will not be using this anymore so there's another product I've been using on my face so now that we're on face uh, here is a miracle worker by philosophy anti-aging retinoid eye repair you always have to have an eye special um, you can see the little lines underneath my eyes I forgot to put it on this morning and it tightens them up like this it really does tighten your eyes so this one is just a sample they threw in it philosophy and it's a pretty big sample so yeah there it is honey can you turn that down just a scotch 
So there's that one. Okay, we'll stick with the face stuff. And then let's move on to makeup. Okay, so here is Pulp Fiction by Urban Decay Nail Color. That's what I'm wearing on my toes. My husband loves it. Loves it. And I've had it on for, I think, three weeks, and it has not shipped at all. So here it is, Urban Decay. It started out at 12 and it went down to $5. So I don't think it's a limited edition. I don't think it's going to launch much longer. There on the lid, it has a skull. Very unique. Um, it's a beautiful color. Absolutely beautiful for fall. I may have my nails done in this next time. Only just the tips. So, and it's called Miss Mia Wallace. So there's that one. I got it for five. When it first launched, it was eleven. Okay, then let's stick with nail lacquers. Here is a Ciate paint pot. Love it. This is good for 24 months, and this is in the color uh, Law Confidential, and it's a butter yellow. I think it's beautiful. I haven't used this one yet. You can see the, the name Law Confidential above the barcode. So yeah, I like the Ciates that have the bow. I'm going to get a nail rack and put them all up in there because I have an advent calendar, calendar that's huge. It is Huge, ginormous. So there's that one. Here is another favorite. I'm going to do a favorite uh, nail lacquer video, but this is just a few for now. This is wet, and this came, I think, in my glossy box. Still waiting on those boxy charm box. I was in glossy box and all those. I was looking for a color like this. This is almost the color denim that they had in SE, but they took off the. the shelves and I cannot find it. I even went to Essie's website so this is as close as I could get to denim and I thought it was beautiful. Even for the fall. Navy blue is a fall color as far as I'm concerned. So there's another nail lacquer. Okay then we get down to the bottom. Here's another one. Here's Essie. This came in my last glossy box. Love it. It's a gorgeous red. Gorgeous red. Uh, let me swatch a little bit on this fingernail. It's turning yellow. I don't know why. But I just think this red is so pretty. It doesn't take much of color to really, you know. So I'll do the whole nail. It's turning yellow. I got it in soft scrub again and it drives me nuts. I cannot stand it. So I didn't come on to paint my nails, but I figure if I'm going to do one nail, I better finish it. And when you wear acrylics and they're starting to grow out, you can't go all the way up to the end or it looks really dorky. So yeah, it's pretty. That's one thing I don't like about new nail polishes. They're too they're too wet. But yeah, it's a beautiful color red. So now I have one red fingernail, but that's okay. So there's the Essie, and it's in She's Pampered. So there's that one. Okay, then I have several new makeup products. Uh, let's get going. Makeup Forever. This is a happy birthday that they gave me at Sephora. They gave me lots of stuff at Sephora. It's crazy. The Bobby Brown, you guys saw it. Um, yeah. So for everybody's birthday, I think they just keep this in there for a year and then they take it out and change it. Um, it is a mascara. Smoky, extravagant. Haven't tried it yet. I'm going to put it in my mascara drawer right now. There's the. Uh, that is the right up my alley. I like the kind that you barely just start at the root and work yourself out. So yeah, I've been curling my lashes. It makes a big, big difference. Please tell me they didn't come off. Yes, they did. Let me fix that real quick. Dang it. Yeah, my whole lash just came off. Dang it. I need to get some better glue. This is really just a chicken fried mess. Please stick. At least till the end of this video. 
I am out of my duo glue and not good. So we won't blink much. It's not sticking. Not good. Anyway, I may have to pull it off. Well, I guess we can do a quick lash tutorial while we're here. So I'm going to stick it back in here and I'll put some glue on it real quick and stick it back on. And this is a lipstick. It's in a beautiful fall color. There's the color. It's like a brownish. Uh, beautiful. So I've got a wet, wet nail, um, an eyelash coming off. Things like these you cannot plan for. So let me just grab some glue. I will stick it back on. We'll call it a tutorial too. I do not normally wear these black and white ones. They come inside the kit. But yeah, it just fell off. I don't know. I don't like these very much. They don't hold the lashes like the duo glue does. So these come with the lashes. Um, I wear kiss lashes. I love them. They, I think they're the best. I used to wear MAC and they were $16. You could get about a month out of them. And these, I'm not kidding you, you can get a lot longer time out of these. I do like the fact that the, the, oh, I'm making a mess, that the glue is black. It does, it blends in with your liner. And I will show you how fast I can slap this puppy on. So you want to put it on. I know that this is a favorites video. You want to put it on and let it sit for about 30 seconds and get tacky. I want to make sure I get enough on there. I had white on this morning. White is nice because once it's dry, you can tell that it's dry because it's no longer white. This is not even closing. I need to get a new one. <clears throat> so tonight I will do a video with my camera. Maybe my husband will do a live stream this weekend. I keep talking about it to him. And we will figure out how to do that and get it done. There. See, I popped it on that fast. Okay. All right, so let's get going. We'll keep going. Um, here is uh, Witch Please Flying Monkeys. I love this. This is a forever or personal space, and I use it in this room a lot just because it's small. You know, after you do your makeup, it just kind of gets stuffy, so I use it a lot in here, a lot. I like the little size, you know, just a little container of it. You can feel it falling because it's wet, but that SE is already dry. That's crazy. So I just keep it up on my vanity vanity or in a drawer. So there's a favorite. Okay, then we're getting to the bottom. These are all new products. Um, here's Pink Ice. This needs to be thrown away. This is a favorite perfume. I know we're not doing perfumes now. Here is another favorite um, this is E L S O L O R Firming Collagen Day Cream. This came in my glossy box. Gone. I love face creams. This is gone and this is gone. So I'm going to throw this away after this video. And then I have this is Fake Up. I'm not going to open it. I have one right here I can show you. This is by Benefit. So, yeah. I'll just put this over in my vanity. It's like stay, don't stray. I have one here too. Same thing as fake up. Stay, don't stray. So you just, it's a pretty pink um, and silver container. And then on the outside it has a moisturizer. And on the that's all that's in there. They call it a deluxe sample. Yeah, very small. So if I swatch them on my hand, you can see it goes on very wet. And then you just rub it in for blemishes, black, dark circles. I found, though, that purple or yellow works best for dark circles. So something like this is just going to only accentuate them because it's going to just add a lighter color over your dark circles. 
You can see it rubbed in on my hand. It doesn't match. So there's that one. Uh, here is Buxom Mascara Bar. Love this. This is my second tube. You can go, you buy the full size mascara, and then you pick out the one that you like, which is right up my alley. This opens up, and it shows all the different ones. You can pick out which shape you like, and then you fit, you buy the full size mascara. This one came with a full and fabulous wand. So yeah, this is more up my alley. Tends to be drier. So there's the buxom. Okay, we're getting down there. So um, I'm going to put this over here with my makeup. I gathered all this this morning. Here is my Trina Tarantino. I absolutely adore Trina Tarantino. Here is the conditioning lip sheen. It came in our last box, and this is in watermelon. Wow, it did melt in here and made a mess. I need to take it out of the box. I just can't bring myself to it. Packaging is beautiful. See my other Trina Tarantino. I love this one too. I just cannot get bring myself to take it out of the packaging. This is the highlighter that you twist. The Hyper Light. I Dream Hyper Light. So I've gone through four of those this month. It's crazy. And I don't know why my hip is hurting so bad today. It is just like throbbing. So I'm going to have to cut this video short. I mean it's really bad. I can't hardly sit here. But anyway, so here is the Trina Tarantino. It's in Watermelon Wow. Watermelon Wow. I need to write a guest review bloggers. Guest bloggers review on this. It melted so it's not in the prettiest shape. Here is a swatch of it. It's gorgeous. The more you swatch on, the more color you get on your lips. There it is. I love it. It's just you don't need to include a lip gloss with it. Should probably let's get rid of the moth. I have a feeling some more Trina Tarantino are gonna come this month. Then this came in my Ipsy bag, believe it or not. I got two of the same product because it came late in the month. I don't know why this is my favorite because tints are not a favorite. But this is tints for your lips and cheeks. Uh, fabulous lip and cheek cheek stain in cherry. They're both even the same color. I was like unreal. That was when I canceled Ipsy. So let's look at these. Um, I have a whole bunch of makeup set aside. I'm going to start a giveaway tomorrow. I keep saying that tomorrow is a deadline. It's a pretty big bottle, so never been opened. Um, I just keep these new products. I put them in a makeup bag down there, and then if there's any subscribers that would like makeup instead of bath products, I do that. <laughs> okay, then I have my Skulls and Roses. Loved it. It's gone. That's all that's left of it. I threw then I threw the Menagerie. I told you I threw that whole a lot of stuff away that week. Yeah, this is gone. I hate to leave any of it in there. So that one's going in the garbage. So, um, and then we, once we get to the perfumes and the bath products, we are on. I love this Hope Girl. One, because it has a mirror. Oh, that smells so beautiful. Then two, it's upside down because it's gradated. It's white and pink. So if you want just a little bit of pink, you just go in a little ways and sweep it around. And it is a doe's foot applicator. And then the thing that I like the best is the LED light. Somebody said, what is this button for that was reviewing it? I'm like, push the button in. Yeah, so if you're out at night in a bar, I don't, you know, I don't go to bars, but you have a light to put it on. Yeah, then you just close it. It's easier to shut it off that way. Just make sure it doesn't come on in your purse or it will die and I think um, there's no way to replace that battery so I did throw the box away to this I'm going to put that up with my lip glosses okay then I have a their, their Yeon uh, Glossy Fit Crayon this came in my Mimi box 
awesome get rid of the box. Um, this is a lipstick and it's a gorgeous color. It almost reminds me of Juicy Viva La Juicy. Let me do a little swatch next to the Trina Tarantino. Looks very close. Oh my goodness, it's almost identical. You really have to swatch it on though. So there it is next to that. Love it. And then you just wind it down. My husband goes, How do you sharpen the plastic? I'm like, dear, you don't sharpen those. Okay, then I have this is what I have left in the basket. A few things behind me. Here's bare skin. This is bare minerals. This is their uh, one that has there's all their colors, their foundation, a lot of them. Um, this came from Sephora. Uh, this is if you want to wear a mineral, a wet foundation instead of mineral. I haven't tried it yet. Um, it's SPF 20, and it ha comes with a brush that has a hole in the middle. And you just take it and you drip, which seems strange. You drip a few drips in the hole and apply it with the brush. I don't really like that. I would probably take it on my finger and dot it and then rub it in with the brush that way. So there's the Bare Minerals Bare Skin. So that's a favorite. I think I'm really going to like it. Be a nice change from the, from the Mineral Foundation. I will just set that there. And then we have two more products. Here is this. This is really unique. This came in my last glossy box. I was thinking, I don't think I'm going to like this. This is a lip tar. And how to apply lip tar in matte. So it's not shiny at all. So I put it on and it looked like it was black. I was thinking, you've got to be kidding me. It comes with its own, its own little brush, which you do not want to mess um your own brushes up. So it's lip tar. It's so dark you can hardly read it. Lip tar in matte. And I want to make this all work 27 minutes. So put a little drop. Ooh, that's a huge drop. It comes out very fast. And then you just take your brush and you rub it in. And it turns to a different, to a burgundy color. It's beautiful. For fall, um, and it does have, it stays matte like that. So yeah, that's what it looks like. Right there. Very, very dark. Very dark. So you, uh, less is more on that one. I hope I have a tissue. I'll have to grab one. Okay, so there's that one. And I have one more product in the basket. We'll do perfumes and then bath products. And we are done. Too many items to list, and then I will get it uploaded. So here's the same product, a crayon for the eye sh for the eyes, eyeshadow crayon. I love these; they are awesome. Um, this was in my Pinkaholic box. It's beautiful, very sparkly pink, and that's what I'm wearing on my eyes now. And so I would probably take it and just go in my crease. Yeah, it's really hard to go backwards in the computer. Just rub it in. It's beautiful. If you want to add a little bit more at the ends, you can. If you want to wind it up too much, it will break. So, and this is in the color. Did I do the lid? Put the lid. And the color is. I don't know because it's in Japanese. So if you have any questions, color fit to bling bling auto crayon. So there's that one. It came in the pinkaholic box. So that is everything in my basket. These are all throwaways down here. Um, let me put all my gay stuff back. Have to go back in the bathroom. The four hubbies dying for dinner. These stay in here. This is an empty. Need to get more of. I was going to show you a VS bag real quick. I'm sure that's going to be a favorite. Came in the mail. 
Okay, now we've got perfume and bath products, and we are done. Here is this. This is the best. Okay, I was talking about toothpaste. You guys know I'm a toothpaste connoisseur. My teeth are so white. Look, this this toothpaste lowered my teeth seven shades. I'm not kidding you. It's a little spendy, but it's called 3D White Crest. Now, I had some friends in the UK that were interested in the lime and the chocolate chip. It did nothing good for your teeth. It caused a lot of extra plaque. It didn't make your teeth feel clean. Um, the chocolate, actually, if you had a cavity, got in your cavity. It would make it hurt. So, yeah, this is really good. I'm going to keep it out of the box. My husband kept it in there so I could review it. So this is, it just stands on end like this. 3D white, it is awesome, brilliant, and like my, um, like my dentist said, you want to alternate one, this one night, and another one, another night. Otherwise you get your teeth too white. So yeah, it went seven shades lighter. Look at my teeth. Yeah, big time. If you go back and look, it's a big difference. I was shocked. I think I used it the first time and looked at my teeth and I was like, you've got to be kidding. So if you need, if you forget what it's called, whoops, it's upside down. Now there's one in a dark blue one. You don't want to get that one because that, that one comes with a booster. You want the Crest 3D White in Brilliance. So there's that one. That goes back to the bathroom. Now we are going to start perfumes real quick. I just brought out this one tray, the Victoria's Secret tray. So here are my favorites. So here's the pink and white striped tray. I'm just going to set it on my knee. So for this month, my f absolute favorite is pink ice. This is full. Love it. And I mix it with the etc. Smells like grapefruit. I love the bombshell. I love it. It's almost out. So there's the bombshell. I, and I love the noir cheese. So there's my four favorites. These are all from Victoria's. I have more high end in the bedroom, but I thought I'm going to stick with one company today. So there's the noir cheese. So if you're interested, you guys can go back and watch this video. It smells very much like Viva La Glam. So there's my perfumes. Then let's get on with the bath products. And these are Christmas products. Some are from Lux Blue and some are from Mad Mac. And if I didn't tell you already, the soap box is launching November 3rd. I'm so excited. It's going to be on my favorite movie, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. If you want to see, if you don't believe me, go to their Facebook page and they have a picture of, Rant, of what's his name on the movie, dear? I keep calling him Randy. His name's Randy Quaid. Um, what's his name? Uncle, um, Wall, was it Wally? Uncle, anyway, when he's out emptying his sewage tank, they asked what, they're not going to make a, um, spray for the Christmas box, obviously, because it, if it's going to be National Lampoons, what, what kind of spray would they use? They have to have some type of theme. It's going to be interesting. So this is from Madden Mac. Absolutely love this. This is Pucker Up, a uh, bubble bar. Look at how beautiful that is. It still is squishy. I can put my fingers through it. This is what this box looks like. I just grabbed a few things. These are going to be part of my giveaway. These are Christmas items. I hate to part with them. They smell minty and... Here is the Snowball Fight. The soap is so beautiful. She made it. Um, I can smell it from here. Here is the Snowball Fight in a bubble bar. It did fade a little bit, but it's still good. Oh my goodness. Still soft. I love it. Oh, I love it. So there's that one, and that's for Madden Mac. And then I have two Christmas bath bombs from her store. This one is Blue Christmas, and this smells very spearminty. 
Oh, fabulous. So, I will do a whole review on all of her stuff for my subscribers. I think her store is closed down right now. I'm not sure why. Personal problems. And then here is, you can see the ribbon. This is Chai Tea Nightcap. Mad Mask Bath Bomb. And it's just relaxing around the holidays. Smells great. So those are from Mad Mac. There's the soap. The snow, uh, what is it called? Snow Fight. Snow Cone Fight. Okay, then I have, this is from Fortune Cookie Soap. It's cherry. I'm going to give it away at Christmas on a package. It's soap. I love it. It's darling. And then, oh, and she also, this is from Mad Mac. This is Pucker Up. It's a bubble bar. Love it. Reminds me kind of like of a coffee cake or a custard or something. Okay, then this is from Lovely Soap. And this is peppermint scented. And she made a little snowman on the top. It's a, a cupcake. It's got a little styrofoam thing you want to take out after you throw it in the tub, but it will fizzle fizzle out, and then you can take it out. But I can smell through the plastic, the peppermint. It smells fabulous. Okay, then I have Lux Blue. Oh, I don't fall out. So this one is one of my absolute fav favorites. This is, I can't even remember the name, Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairy. And this is in a cupcake form, and it smells like Christmas trees. Now, uh, scented Christmas oil is very hard to find, but she found it, and this is very, it smells like a noble fur, so there's that one. She has it in a bath bomb. Dance with the Sugar Plum Fairy. I want to take it out. I'm losing time. I've still got lots of stuff in the Lush behind me. Uh, here's another one. This one is Party Like It's 19.99. I just reviewed these. These are just my favorites from each company. This is a bubble bar. This is, oh, smells like the, it's a cherry almond. It smells like, cher like the cherry, chocolate covered cherry almonds. Love it. Lux bubble bar. And then I have one more in here, and this one is, it's a Lux Bubble Bar, and it is Wintry Candy Apple. This smells just like Bath and Body Works. I love it. Oh my gosh. Wintry, wintry Candy Apple. So, that is from Mad Mac and Lux Blue and Fortune, Fortune Cookie Soaps. So I will, there's obviously too many things to upload. I'll just have to put, you know, if you have any questions, get back to me. I do not store any of these in this room because it just gets too warm. My goodness, those didn't break. Some of it I do, some of it I don't. Okay, so we got the perfume. Here is the Witch Please. It's a whipped cream. Love it. From Fortune Cookie Soap. Here is this. My husband will watch me this show for my new subscribers. He loves this. I'm going to get on and order some Christmas items. I have a hair in my face. Eden Secret One is where you can find her on YouTube. I'm pretty sure she used to be subscribed to me. I ordered this a while ago. I loved it. She has several gift sets. I normally would have ordered light pink, but it's fabulous. It still smells good from the UK. So, yeah, it, it breaks my heart to use it, but I've got to use it up. And then she said you can use it oops, uh, to keep your makeup in. or So, yeah, the bath bombs were in the four corners. And then I had massage bars here and then the soaps, but they are so stinking cute. I know you can't see it. Bath bombs were in the four corners. I've used four items, and it smells as good as the day I got it. It comes with a little Marie Antoinette on the back of the card. It tells you what they are. 
but I'm going to order another one of these only in Christmas. So the bath bombs were all down like this in the corners. And then the bubble bars are so, this is soap. But how stinking cute is that? My husband would even use it. I could probably make it to where I could use it in one bath. You could make it for two or three or four, but I use it one. And here's a bubble bar, or no, a mas massage bar. You can hold it, hardly hold on to it. It's so melty. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I think it was about 35 US dollars, and then it was about 75 to get to me total in shipping. I went the wrong way. I went Royal Mail instead of UPS. It would have been a lot less. But now I know. And she makes the most beautiful Christmas cupcakes. i got to get on her website tonight and order some. I will do a review on that. So then, I, my last item, I did my perfume, my makeup, my face care. I'm going to do my Lush real quick. Which Lush items from the Christmas launch are my favorite in the Halloween launch. And then we are done. So... Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, I didn't get my fortune cookie so out of the corner. Shame on me. I'll have to do that later. So this this is a hodgepodge of Mother's Day. Yeah. So I have to haul all that out of here. Yeah. It's like here is the one. This is the Halloween. Let me put the camera away, make sure it's off. Then I gotta get out there and make him dinner before he falls. So my favorite Halloween item, I think that smells the best from Lush, the best of anything you've ever made, is this one. The sparkling pumpkin. I think it smells so fabulous. Oh my goodness, it smells so fabulous. I don't have the notes on it. I haven't looked it up. This and the wizard. I think I used No, I have one more. I went and bought. I'm going to have to go down there and pray that they... Well, Halloween's not over. So, I'm going to have to stock on these wizards. This one's looking like a little bit like a toddler made it, but it's really... The two together smell so great. I wish they'd make a perfume. So yeah, that is everything that is in my favorites. Um, I was going to open this real quick. I'm sure this could be a favorite. This is from Victoria's. It was free. It's a makeup bag. They sent it to me. Let's see what it looks like. I'm sure this will be a favorite. Yes. Oh, it's pink and white. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it's beautiful. There's two of them in here. So they sent me this. It's huge. Oh, I love it. It's in a refillable bag. Scissor time. So, after this, that is everything in my favorite. Sorry it was so big. Uh, I'm going to start including clothing. Last night I had the cutest pajama silk pants that I got from Lush. And a really very, very, very soft, like, teddy, um, nighty, black and pink. Really cute and soft. I mean, you can't tell you're wearing a scratch, scratchy lacy. That's what I like about their clothing. Their bedtime clothing is not real itchy. Excuse this watch is on my hand. I do not want to get this on here. But yeah, it says Victoria's Secret. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. And the price on this is $20. So they sent this to me free. Wow. Very nice. Victoria's Secret. So yeah, this is a definite favorite. I love it. This is the color I'm going to do my blogging room. Might as well take this stuff in there. So, I hope you guys enjoy this. I will get this uploaded. Here's the inside. It's it's brown and pink. Perfect. Love it. So, and then this is probably a pink ribbon because it's breast cancer month. 
I'm guessing. No, this is a little VS emblem. So, thanks for watching. And yeah, if you don't believe me, this was a $20. I did not buy it. I would not pay that. I get too many makeup bags for free. So, I will wrap it back up until Christmas and probably put it under, under the tree. And have my husband put some Lush products in it or something. Anyway, I will get this uploaded. Thumbs me up. Love you all. Sub, sub, sub. Oh, 45 minutes. And I will see you later. Uh, and on the front page, I will have a thumbnail. Fancy, hopefully. Uh, love you all. Keep thumbsing me up. I need you. And um, subscribe, subscribe. Bring your friends. And I may switch over to a different channel to lose her. Thanks. Love you all. Bye.